Hey everybody, it's Andy, aka Max Ryder. What the? There's a hole here. Yes, I just put it there. Anyway, I am down here at the skeleton spawner once again. We're gonna do a little bit more work on it because basically I want to. Look at all this cobble, oh my gosh. I want to build. I need two things. I need more diamonds. I need diamonds. I guess I should just say I need diamonds. I don't have any. I have two, I think, and that's it. And I need to. And I would like to set up a little pond right underneath the skeleton spawner so that if people so desire, or if I so desire, they can go they can go fishing down below, still activate this thing, and then come up every once in a while. Might put some glass here that leads down to it. Ah, this might not be a good spot. This isn't this is not a good spot for this. Um hmm. Alright, let me figure this out. I will be right back. Okay, I'm back. And I've figured out a place to put this thing. We're actually we're actually right next to the to the spawner over on this side. It's going to be in between the enchanting room and then whatever goes here, which is probably going to be either a tree grow room or uh, I don't know, another garden, who knows. So we're going to dig down Ooh, I don't know how far I probably should find that out too, shouldn't I? Let's see where we are here. We are at 19, 18, 17. So we need to have a roof that makes 17 work. Where are we at right now? 14. And that's only 3. So then we need to go a little higher than that. Tell you what, I'll be back once I've started actually carving Jackpot. it Jackpot! This is what I needed to find. Because I need to try to get a fortune pick. Actually, I probably have some diamonds that are... have been silk touched. But this is a good start. Six? Nice, okay. Well, that's Like I said, that's a good start. And I've lost count of where I was, though. That's a shame. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 12, 13. I'm, I'm making this a large room. So, here's the dimensions so far. And then I have to carve out all of this up to at least 3. And we're at level 11. We're at level 10. 17 is as high as I can go. So I might just go up to up 6. And so we have a nice high ceiling. Once I get some progress done, I will be back. Okay, so I have been digging. I have been doing some mining in this same area, which is great. I managed to get a Fortune 2 pick, which is awesome. Fortune 3 would be better, but Fortune 2 will do for now. So we'll be using that for everything that can be fortuned, including diamonds, hopefully. Uh, I've moved to using iron picks for this excavation because otherwise it's going to just take way too long. <clears throat> it's probably going to take too long anyway. And at least in this area, I should be able to go deep enough. It needs to be at least too deep, most of it. So, so progress, progress, ta-da! We're coming along slowly but surely. And stop calling me surely. And like I said, I'm probably going to raise the roof, the ceiling on this place, so it's going to be a little higher. And I will apprise you as we make more progress. Did I keep my silk touch? Yeah, I need to put that away somewhere. Okay, I don't know if I'm going to get done with this today. Here is the room. At least the width and the, high, uh, the, width and the length. I'm going to take it up at least one more, and I might go higher than that. Uh, I want it to look kind of cool and, you know, large. And Unfortunately, we did not find many diamonds down here. Which is kind of annoying, but it is what it is. And I will keep looking. And actually, I have to dig down two more levels. We're going to have it run all the way around here. Why don't we go ahead and start? I'll start digging this out, and you'll at least have a look at the layout. I don't know if I'll get this done today, or if I'm going to have to leave it for another day or not. So, we shall see.